Hey there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today we are going to review Foam Stars. I mean, this game did come to my attention when it was revealed in a PlayStation showcase a while back, mainly due to its similarities to Splatoon, and I thought I got to try it out as a free game for PlayStation Plus in February, so I thought why not talk about it? Because I am eager to share my honest opinion on this game. I've actually heard mixed opinions on this game, so I thought I'd just share my honest one here. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the gameplay, Foam Stars is a 4v4 foam shooter game, which brings back ideas from Splatoon's action, as well as similar titles. The game features an energetic cast of characters battling furiously as foam projectiles fly in all directions. Foam Stars offers an enjoyable dynamic element to gameplay through the use of foam as the primary ammunition, resulting in an unusual take on typical paint-based concepts. While the game mostly focuses on in-match action, it doesn't rule out the addition of additional features, such as gathering places used for venues, for creative activities, similar to Splatoon's Town Square. In a creative shift, Foam Stars breaks from the conventional cover the map objective utilized in games of a similar type by allowing foam to be utilized as a tool for attack in addition to altering the map's layout. With the assistance of this strategic part, players are able to proactively alter the battlefield by building cover or creating fresh paths for mobility. Although the game includes a solo choice via missions, which enable players to gain more about a wide roster of characters, some players may find the Horde missions to be a bit repetitive at times, since I do agree that it lacks in variety. It, despite the absence of a structured story campaign, character-specific go goals offer bits of lore that give the game world additional depth. Since Foam Stars does not have a story, the only other thing I can really talk about are the modes because Foam Stars offers three main game modes for PvP action. In Smash the Star, teams fight hard to get rid of rival players while searching for the unlikely star player. In Intensity Clash, every match promises heart-pounding action and potential of amazing comebacks, with a focus on protecting allies and targeting rivals. Happy Bath Survival offers a collaborative and based on skills battle where players must fight off opponents and navigate within the arena's boundaries. As teams battle for supremacy, collaboration is crucial among companions both inside and outside the arena. For those craving for a more unique and creative twist, Rubber Duck Party offers a delight blend of competition and camaraderie, racing to seize control of the titular duck and propel it towards the victory. Players must balance offense and defense amidst the chaos of the arena. For the summary, the gameplay, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Foam Stars provides fun gameplay on its own, but areas can get repetitive at times, such as the missions. Since all of the missions are horde-based missions, that's where it kind of falls flat for me. Because I do feel like the whole missions concept in Foam Stars could have been like Splatoon and each of them being unique instead of being the same thing over and over again, which does get a bit annoying at times. For the graphics and the performance, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The visuals in the game look stunning. In terms of performance, it does run well, and the UI design 
and the heads up display are decent. Unlike Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which is just a cluttered heads up display. But for the characters, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. The characters in the game are fun and quirky, with my favourite being Agito. But the depth and lore in Phone Stars wasn't as good as Splatoon. For the content, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. The game does have skins you can unlock for the characters, but unfortunately, they are locked behind a paywall. The game does have one feature that Splatoon doesn't have, and that is a customizable lounge area. Maybe Splatoon 4 might take this idea from Foam Stars. I feel like a few gameplay elements will be taken from, such as the mission structure for the individual heroes. I mean, Overwatch already has a hero gallery, but I feel like Overwatch could potentially take the idea from Foam Stars. And the companion system, similar to Agito's Shark companion, Splatoon can take that idea. For the music, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The music does give me Persona 5 vibes, especially with the PS5 home menu music. And for the online, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. In terms of queuing, it is a nightmare, but it's actually fun once you get into the, a game. For the difficulty, I'm going to give it a moderate. It's not like Splatoon, it's a bit more difficult. For the audience, I'm going to give it a 12 plus. Unlike Splatoon, where it's a more cartoony base shooting game, Foam Stars is a bit different in a way. And for the perk, I know this is a digital only game, but if physical was an option for Foam Stars, I would give it the play then sell perk. It's not a game I would consider owning, but it's fun enough. I would have advised you to check it out while it was a free monthly game on PlayStation Plus, and I personally feel like the approach of Foam Stars took, it feels more like a free-to-play game, which it should have been, in my opinion. And overall, I give Foam Stars a 7 out of 10. Foam Stars is a 4v4 shooter game that provides an inclusion of fresh air to the competitive gaming market. The gameplay is reminiscent of popular titles like Splatoon, and the use of foam as the main weapon in the game gives traditional paint-based concepts an exciting twist, and allows dynamic battlefield alteration and strategic complexities. While solo missions offer details about the game's past, certain players might find horde-based missions a bit boring. Yet, the PvP aspects of the game are where the game does well, offering an array of experiences from intense team battles to comical duck races with its colourful visuals, engaging gameplay and charming personality. So guys, what did you think of my review for Foam Stars? So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8 out.